what's good everybody i hope you're having a good day i hope you're having a good week man i'm just hoping you are okay so what's good everybody it's your girl amanda speaks what's good and i'm back with another video so first of all y'all might be wondering she wears glasses yes i do um, somebody asked me recently why don't I wear my glasses in my videos so here it is but leave in the comment section if you prefer me doing with the glasses or without the glasses just let me know let y'all girl know so without further ado let's go first of all if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and hit the like button and let's go let's grow together let's glow together and let's be real the top three people who are so hard to correct so hard to convince and so hard to deal with sometimes are the know-it-alls the i knows there's a difference and the ones who will tell you that they just don't think they deserve it those are the top three people that are the hardest to work with because you can never tell them that they were wrong because either they'll find an excuse to justify it or they'll just simply say I know or they'll say they don't think they deserve anything better they're okay with where they're at they're comfortable it's okay but they're never gonna tell you that oh you're right and just shut it up right there so the video today is basically a continuation of the recent video that I did on we deserve the we accept sorry the love we deserve and if you had watched that give it a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up as well if you had watched that previous video yeah and leave in the comments what you thought about it okay so the know-it-alls <laughs> they believe as though they deserve the world even if they treat people like trash some of these know-it-alls no matter what you tell them they be like i know this i know it already or they'll give you even reasons why they deserve this justifying their wrongs even if the man for example for example they're the male and a female they're in a relationship and the man is being so sweet he's buying her gifts he's taking her on dates he's making time for her calling her giving her good morning texts good night texts these are regular stuff maybe not everyday things but these are regular things he does because he wants to show his love and this woman gonna come up here and be like i don't need to do this for him he's supposed to be doing this for me because i deserve this type of love i've been working hard i've been i've been through so many heartbreaks i don't need to be doing any of these things for him i don't need to even make him feel special he's the one that's supposed to make me feel special right excuse me like what i'm sorry have i lost my mind or something like have i really lost my mind or something these people will literally justify their wrongs to tell you that they deserve whatever other people are doing for them but they don't need to do anything for anybody they're all about themselves and then even when you try to correct them or you try to say to them say look this is another guy this is somebody different and you need to address it as such you need to try and give more of yourself because eventually this man will get tired. When you put it like that, like that, like that, like that, you like you. He gonna feel as though you're not respecting him and you're not loving him the way he should be loved, right? And you have to be wondering like, are you even hearing me? Because their their next comeback would be something like this, like, I don't even take anything from you. I know who I am. I know what I'm all about, and you don't know what I've been through, so you can't tell me what to do. Instead of them listening to your advice and maybe taking it into consideration because you might be talking sense, they immediately have a comeback. So they don't listen. They, they just look like they're listening and then they only listen to have a comeback but not listen to hear what you're really saying. If you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Then you have the I knows. So the difference between the I know it all and the I knows is that the I know it alls will justify their problems and make it seem as though they're never wrong 
while the I knows will literally tell you that you're right and literally tell you that that's the truth but it always starts with I know and it's not that I know I know that I'm going to change it and just you know move on with my life it's I know but I don't see a way out it's a I know but I just don't see how I'm going to tear myself apart from this person it's a I know but the situation just doesn't allow me to do anything different it's the I know but I don't have the courage to step out and be the person I really be I'm supposed to be sorry it's the I know but I'm not that person. I'm not, I'm, I'm an introvert. I'm a shy person. I can't do it. It's that type of I know where no matter what you say, that person just has to come to the conclusion within their minds, their selves, their hearts, that they gotta do this. And it's for their own good. But not everybody's gonna do it. The I knows will tell you plain out that you're right. It's true. I do need to change this habit or I do need to leave this person because they're talking toxic for me. Or maybe I need to take care of myself more because I've just been going, going, going and I'm not really relaxing. I'm not really caring for myself, my mental state. I'm not doing anything for me anymore. But they'll always be like, I know. And it ends right there. The situation that they're talking about, they know it, but they don't think they can change it. A lot of people are in abusive relationships many people wouldn't know many people would know but even if you confront them about it and it'd be like are you really going to make this man or this woman because women do beat men i'm sorry if y'all didn't know but yeah are you really gonna just sit up here and let her beat you like that let him beat you like that are you really gonna just sit there and do nothing don't you love yourself enough they don't see that they deserve more Put it that way, They're, they don't see anymore. They're more blind to what's happening nowadays. They just get used to it, they become numb to it. So in that abusive relationship, they'll stick it out. I don't deserve you. I think that's kind of self-explanatory in a way. It doesn't matter what comes in their life, it doesn't matter how much encouragement you give them. It doesn't matter if the perfect one for them comes along. If they don't think highly of themselves and they don't come to that realization that self-love is really important and they need to love up themselves before they can love up anybody else and they need to see themselves as a whole and not a half that needs another half to be completed they'll always think that they're not enough they're not doing enough they don't have right taste oh my god i was so hard fine but yeah you'll always have those people that no matter what you do until they come to themselves i'm popping i got this like what's good then it doesn't matter what comes in their lives who comes in their lives how people treat them they'll always think that they don't deserve that person they don't deserve happiness they don't deserve joy they don't deserve peace and then when the wrong people come in their life no they probably accept and say yo this is what i actually deserve and <sighs> it's hard because you see the potential and you see how important they are in your life and you see them as a really extremely insane dope person but they don't see it so guys if you could relate to anything that i just said this episode please leave your comments below and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends man share it with your friends but this is all I have for you guys for the Real Talk video. Remember to give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. As well as follow me on my socials. <laughs> I keep forgetting that part. But follow me on my socials so you can keep up with your girl. Because I do post on my social medias. I keep more to my stories than I really post. Because I'm more of a quality person and not quantity person. So, yes. Yeah.